Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to create a card with a die set from Spellbinders. It's called the Stitched Flower. And it is a beautiful flower and then there's some leaves. There's two flowers in here actually. This pretty leaf florist doesn't have um, stitch detail but these do. Um, I love doing cards with stitch detail but I just sometimes don't have the patience to sew. So today I'm going to do a faux stitching with the Stitch Flower die set. This set is actually part of a brand new collection at Spellbinders called the Spring Into Stitching Collection. And um, if you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. Let's jump in and get started. We are going to do some die cutting. And the flower itself, which is nice, is you could die cut out just the stitch detail on some cardstock or you can create an outline with it and die cut out um, the flower itself. So I'm going to do that with some Cosmic Sky cardstock and then I'm going to take some of my Teal Topaz cardstock. The cardstock that I'm using, I'm naming the names um, because these are the Spellbinders Color Essential cardstock and I um, love the quality of these. So I'm going to take the stitched detail leaves and I'm going to cut out three leaves, one more of these with a teal topaz. For my my leaf here, I'm going to die cut this out with some of my green cardstock. This is Rainforest and I'm going to die cut out two leaves with this. And then I'm also going to take a lighter teal. This is Waterfall. I'm going to die cut out the outline of my leaves three times with the Waterfall cardstock. Now to create a background for my flower, I'm going to use a blue and I'm going to go to my scraps. This is my scrap bin. <laughs> and I'm going to use my raindrop cardstock and I'm just going to use the outline and die cut that out. Okay, I am finishing up with my die cutting. And I think we are good to go. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to show you how we are going to put this together. It's very easy. And of course, you know what? You could recreate the same exact card um, doing some actual stitching. Um, I'll link a video where I did actual stitching, uh, stitching at the end. So um, it kind of gives you a guide. But I'm going to flip over my flower, add some adhesive behind here. And I'm going to tack this down to my background. I love the way that the stitching dies look even without stitching. I just love the polka dots. Doesn't that look so pretty? <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing to my leaves. I'm just going to adhere them to their background. And I put a the darker color on top because I'm going to use a white gel pen and I wanted my white gel pen to stand out. So if I were to put the light on top, I don't think it would stand out as much. Now after we have this done, it's very easy to create faux stitching. All we're going to do is take our white gel pen and there is embossed detail on where those lines should go. And so I'm just going to follow the embossed detail. And I usually like to start from the center, a straight line, and just continue to that bottom. And you know what, this, the great thing about the faux stitching is it doesn't have to be perfect. The imperfections kind of make it look like, like your thread. <laughs> At least in my opinion. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay, so my faux stitching is all done. Doesn't that look so pretty? I'm always impressed the way this turns out. I'm going to go ahead and do one of my leaves and then I'll continue with the others off camera. And the leaves are a little bit more tricky. But I'm going to start with the top to bottom and then we'll just continue all pulling forward to that bottom dot. So fun. Okay, all of my leaves are all done. And we I'm just going to use one flower today, so or we are good to go. I'm going to zoom back out. And then we're going to do a little bit more die cutting. 
Okay, now I have two colors of cardstock. I have a rainforest and raindrop. Maybe. Yes, I got it right. <laughs> and then I'm going to use a die set. Love this die set. In fact, I think this might be on sale. Um, this one is the Stack Decorative Edges. Um, it was the die of the month for May of last year, but I love it because it creates some fantastic borders. I'm taking this border that kind of has like the X's and the O's, and I'm going to die cut out a strip with that. And then with this decorative border, I am going to... I'm going to die cut this out on both sides. Now with this one, I want the negative portion. I'm going to show you in just a minute. And then I'm, I'm also going to die cut this one out with white cardstock. I'm going to go this way and then this way. And I actually want this piece here. But, I'm, but on my white cardstock, I actually want the border. So I'm going to flip it around. Go about a quarter inch up and then I'll die cut this out. And I'm going to make sure it's kind of evenly spaced. And I'm going to do the same thing on the side up here. So we have two borders of the white, two borders of our rainforest, and then one border of our raindrop. Okay, all my die cutting is done. And you can see here, I wasn't worried about punching those out, but instead of using the decorative edge, I'm not going to use this piece. In fact, I'll put that behind my package. That way it can be used for another card. But I want to use the reverse side. And I did this because I can line up my white border behind the, the negative piece and color in the areas here. I love, I think that's going to work out lovely. Have a little bit of that rainforest peeking out. And it's very easy to do. So you can use the negative piece with this die, which makes it fabulous. So not only is it great that it might be on sale, but it, you can use the negative of it. Okay, so now we have some green behind there. Now after I die cut out this border, I trimmed it down, and then I put some white cardstock behind it. This way I have a white background, and then I have a place to pop it up with some foam adhesive. I'm going to flip this around, and I'm going to add some adhesive behind here to the left and to the, or the top and the bottom, I should say. And then we're going to add our border. And then we'll add our other side. And I'm going to make sure that they're lined up this way. Okay, we have our border done. Okay, now what we're going to do is take some white cardstock. And I have a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter. So I basically trimmed a quarter off a card front panel. I'm going to lightly tack this border to my panel. Kind of evenly space it. Just lightly tack it. So it's even down here and it's even with the little the edges. I'm going to use my scissors and trim off the excess. Flip it around, do the same. Then we have a border that lines up beautifully. I'm going to remove my border and add some foam adhesive behind it. And before we adhere this to our card base, I want to do a little bit of ink splattering in the background. Now we, we have greens and blues, but we'd only have a little bit of teal. So that's why I'm going to bring in some peacock feathers to stress oxide ink. I'm going to add a little bit to my acrylic block. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water just using my spray bottle. Did you guys know there's a lock on here? You press that down and it opens it up. Um, I've had this for years and just realized that there was, there was a lock right here that you would, that you push in. Didn't know that. <laughs> so it's kind of got a safety proof feature. Now to do do to do to do 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 my splattering, I'm just gonna take my water brush, pick up some of this ink, and we're gonna splatter some color in our background. 
not too much but just to add a little bit of that teal I think a little goes a long way here okay and I'll just use my towel to pick up the excess and then I'll use my heat gun to dry those splatters I think that looks wonderful. Now I'm going to take my border, figure out my placement here, and then we're going to go ahead and place our sentiment. My sentiment today is going to be from a stamp set called Many Birthdays. And there's a die set that goes with it, but I just want to stamp the sentiment that says for someone special. I'm going to place that on my my panel. That way I know where I want it. And then I'm going to bring in my Misty, my stamping positioner. I'm using my mini Misty for this one. I'm going to lightly tack, add some tape to it, put this in my stamping positioner. I always keep the magnets in there, but I don't use them very much. <laughs> We'll pick up our sentiment and then I'm just going to stamp, stamp this with my black ink. I'm using my Versafine Onyx Black Ink. Lovely. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take our card base, which is a standard A2 size card base. I'm going to flip this around. We're going to use our tape runner and we'll go ahead and adhere this. This is going to leave me just a little bit of a border. And then we'll remove the release paper off of our decorative border and we'll add this. And then next we'll add our flower. For our flower we need some small thumb squares. And then we'll add our leaves mm -hmm. I think that looks great next we're going to add our greenery I, I cut out one more just in case I would need it we'll set that aside and I just think that looks so pretty not bad for bow stitching because <laughs> it looks real now we're going to go ahead and embellish our card with a few gems. I'm using the Spellbinders Color Essential Gems. This is Aquamarine. This is Aquamarine AB. AB means there's a real pretty uh, Aurora Borealis tint to it. That's what the AB stands for. But I'll add one to the center of my stitch detail. Kind of blends in with our splatter, but it adds that sparkle, which is really nice. We'll add some down here. Good deal. We'll put these aside, and then that finishes off my card today, guys. Using the stitched florals, the stitched flower die set from Spellbinders. Again, this is new. It's part of their brand new spring and stitching collection. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.